Hello everyone, welcome back to Lavender Canyon, where last time I was in a bit of a tizzy over the fact that we were running out of water going into a drought. I accidentally blew a hole in our wall over here that we really needed. Um, and so we didn't get water back early enough in the next season to make sure we had enough water for the drought we're currently in. Now, I believe there is five days left on this drought and we don't have enough water. We've got about 1K. It's, it's enough if I was just watering beavers, but I'm watering plots. I'm watering the aqua pond up here. I'm watering the um, Lido and the showers that are up here. And so it's a lot of water that we need just for those two areas during drought periods. Um, so we kind of had a bit of a freak out. Or I had a bit of a freak out. I know. It was pretty bad. Um, but we, we threw in some more pumps quick, got some water down pumped ourselves dry accidentally over here at the beginning of this drought and we also started putting in some new large water pumps over here so we are going to do a little bit of work over here to kind of create a backup reservoir right here and we're gonna dynamite this down a little bit today um, we also are going to do a couple of things that were mentioned in the comments in the past couple of episodes. One of them being Bud told me I needed to close that or to untick that, um, which I did, um, need to do. We also need to put in a hall, a builder's hut. We don't have enough builders for how much we are doing around here. And so it's creating a little bit of an issue. So we're going to go ahead and throw a builder's hut in there. That will up our builders um, to the four that are in the original district center and another four. So we'll get some of this miscellaneous material picked up, which I didn't know the builders had to do. I thought the haulers would do that, but the builders, we've got them building stuff and then also trying to pick up all of this so um right now we're waiting for some i think it was metal blocks that we needed for this no we have metal blocks what is it we needed for this oh it's all but built we just needed to get this stuff into there okay cool so as soon as we come back we have that on high priority somebody should come over and build that and then our bad water prevention theme has worked we're done bud was correct we did get it completed so now we are safe from bad tides this one sluice gate i'm being told as long as this isn't full of water that it has to drain first would allow the bad water to just skate right around so we're okay for there so for right now i'm going to put aqueduct plans on hold Bud made a good suggestion that I should take a creative copy and um, go play with the aqueduct. And I think I'm going to do that because it was kind of stressing me out to try and do that on the fly. So I probably will do that uh, sometime between this episode and the next or the one after that. Right now it's not really that big of a deal. We can get there. Um... But right now we need to fix our water situation and um, I'd like to figure out a power situation for this section over here. So water and power, the two main survival needs are what we need to do here. And right now my cat is doing something strange. Okay. Okay. 
and making a lot of noise. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but he is. All right, so let's uh, jump in. We're going to go double speed. We also are looking for this guy. What do we need over here? Pretty much everything. Logs, gears, treated planks. We only have two treated planks, so we've got the planker running. It's running very, very slowly because we only have this one poor beaver in the wheel. So that's going to take us a minute. But while we're doing that, we could get in some... Uh, let's plop in a stair here. Okay. And then we're going to need some path because what I'd like to do is come all the way down here and starting down here create a reservoir. I don't think our path needs to go quite that long. So we're going to work on laying in some dynamite here that then we can blow and have um, an extra deep space going on here. We don't have double dynamite yet do we if we go triple that's gonna take a long time to fill up but would give us a lot of water I don't know if we can actually it's letting us I was wondering if we were close to the bottom of the map which would make it difficult to to do um, we're going to go ahead and do that, that. We're going to do all of this. That'll make a huge amount of water. Oh, I keep forgetting. I don't know what my cat is doing. I keep forgetting that you can place on paths now. That is the best thing ever. Okay, let's get this staircase built, please. And then I'm going to prioritize the ones under the pump area first so that when the water does come back that's already ready to go hold on a second i need to deal with cat i'll be right back a few moments later okay cat dealt with um back to what we were doing um but so i'm going to high prioritize those ones around the pumps because that'll mean that they'll throw those in first and then when the water comes back, these can start pumping without a problem. And then we'll continue to lay the rest of it um, without delay. I don't think, let's take a look and see what have we else have we got going on right now. Um, they're picking up that. Um, actually, I should have uh, chunked the priority on that as well. Um... Alrighty, so right now we have 54 beavers, we've got three empty beds, and we've got seven babies, seven that are no jobs. That's why I'm thinking we get that builder up and running. Yay, our sluice is in. Woohoo. Okay, so that's great. So now we are protected in the case of bad water, and since this is only one block here too, if it rises too high, it'll flow over that block as well. So I'm going to double check over here. I got no priorities there. I'm just gonna, wrong button. I'm just gonna cancel this for right now. I don't, I don't want them to build any more of that until I figure out what it is I want. So we'll just leave that there. Um, this I'm gonna take off the prioritize. Because that's where half of our explosives are. And now we're going to need them down here. Alright. We can't fit any more. We could fit another pump over here. But do I really want to do that? That put us on like a different area. Alright. So this guy is moving slowly. How is our water? We're down to 777. And we still have three days. Oof. That's cutting it. Um, that is cutting it quite a bit. 
So we'll see what happens here because we already, in order to get everything full, pumped out this area here. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, I always could, if we need to, pump this area out because there's still quite a bit in there and we've got dams here so that wouldn't steal our water from here but there's still some water there did they get all of oops wrong thing do we have all the platforms under that pump on, on there yes they got the stairs in they're getting that dynamite in sweet okay so then I'm gonna let them do that and I'm gonna kind of think about what it is I need to accomplish today besides getting all of that run um, we definitely hey there we go builders hut is up um, we definitely need to get some sort of power situation figured out here. Now, my original plan was to create a water corner here, but then also have windmill power running along the back here and some power batteries. And I don't know if that's still a good plan. I know this is as far back as our aqueduct will run. So we theoretically have the ability to put in the big water I'm sorry, the big windmills. And if we dynamite down, we can put in some power banks and then we have room. So like I was figuring starting in here and putting in dynamiting this down and putting in battery banks. So platforms with batteries on top of them and then this layer dynamited down. But if we're not going to deal with all of this quite yet, I don't really want to run that. So let's see, what have we got this way? We could get up here to the top and do the same thing along here because we're gonna need mills. I wanna get the pastries up and running. We now have cattails in stock, so we could turn that into cattail flour and then get some bakeries up and running. We've got the ability now once this is, I'm gonna pause you, we don't need you there. Um, once this is in completely, we can, I'll open that one, um, we can remove all these trees and then get our wheat farm in. So that's what the plan is for there. And then once we have our water kind of situated with all of these pumps, hey, look at that, we can blow that. Wow, that was really slow. Okay. Um, once we get those going, we can move this and this can turn into wheat farm as well. And then we will have all of the crops. We can do anything more crop wise. And that's always my, my goal to get all of the crops. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to pump this. Probably not. We still have 1.7 days. We still have 450-ish water. So, I mean, we're not bad. But we still have to wait for the water to fill up here. When, and so that takes, like, you know, half a day or so now that we've got this closed. Um, before we actually get water down into here. So we will do that. We're also going to need probably another farmhouse over here to help cover this area. I still am thinking before we put in farmland, I would kind of like to get in kind of like a, a channel of water to get back into here where we are completely brown. That would make sure that like over here in this corner, the irrigation is never, never bad. So maybe we dynamite in a little pond over here back behind um, the district center, which I could move that would be okay i could move that but i'm actually thinking if we like dynamite out a channel make a little pond back here then this back here has more irrigation and it would get us a little bit more thing a little bit more 
uh, area covered in green. I'm actually going to take out this forester because now we don't need them over here. And why don't we go ahead and lay some of that groundwork for the little reservoir back here. I know it's not huge, but I think it might be enough to... Um, do we want to come out one more? Can you do that? And then once this wood is moved, we'd be able to run a channel straight through into there. And we could put a sluice on that. That would only allow it to fill up and not to back because I didn't realize they did that. Thank you, bud, for that information because I totally didn't realize they wouldn't black backflow, which is such a cool thing. But anyways, over here, this guy seems to be having a bit of an issue keeping up. I don't know. Once we get this all planted up, though, he shouldn't have a problem. I'm going to go ahead. We don't have any more beavers, but I'm going to go ahead. I'll knock the priority down on that. We're going to want to get these all chopped in here, which I think is probably going to mean that we need some more storage. Do we have log storage over here? Yes, and it is not full. All right, I'm going to go ahead and empty this one. I know it'll tie up our haulers for a little while as they run back and forth, but we have plenty of log storage all over the place, so they should be able to handle that no problem. Just get it out of our way for right now. And this guy, how we doing? We're still working on the treated planks. It's slow going. Very, very slow going for this one guy. And this one meal. It'll go better once we have... Um, once we have the water back. Because we'll get some, some power going there then. And I wasn't paying attention in the accident floodgate. I'm not certain when. I bet you it probably happened in one of those super early episodes when I did that. But I wasn't really paying attention to it. Alright. Here we go! End of cycle 11 is coming up here in a couple hours. Almost there. And then we should... We should start flooding that in. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a bad little glitch when that animation came up. Like, holy cow. Alright. Um, there is water there, but that's only because it opened these floodgates. Let's see here. What have we got for a water level here? I can't really tell. It's going very slowly. It's going. Water's starting to flow. But we've got to get to our, our um, dam height here. Which slows everything down. For right now, I'm going to... Of these guys. They've also pumped all the water out of there, which is not cool. And then this guy, we're still okay over here, kind of, sort of, maybe. Um, all right, so if we look at that, this is almost empty, and then we'll be able to ditch that. Water is coming back, yay! And these guys. They went to their height. We'll go ahead and turn these guys back on. It's going to take a minute because now this is three tiles deep in there. And actually, it's at a depth of two. Did I only put twos in there? No, it's triples. How strange. Um, yeah, two is as low as it's saying it can go. I must not be understanding the depth on that guy. But that's alright. 
we're almost to the path here and then we could conceivably blow that section it's gonna create a ripple through when we do but all right um, we also have one big tank up and running over here we are down to <laughs> under 50 water that is not great not great at all these guys have enough water in them to kind of keep an, a big enough level there to oh yay good that one's up too we're gonna put these i don't know if they both are yeah high priority and then we need to set their let's pause when drought starts i'm um, pause when temperate pause when bad starts pause unpause oops wrong button pause okay so those are set now. Oop. I saw some flooding over here. Which is okay. It'll live. Alrighty. So this is almost emptied. And you know what? They can pick it up off the ground. Alrighty. Let's see here. Can we... get to there and to there oof we are flooding pretty good there did we get those are all the way open oops where did I just place that I don't want that there no 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 these ones are at the point six five those ones are closed completely okay Okay, okay, okay. Alrighty, I'm feeling much better this episode than I did with the last. And you know what? We don't need all these platforms here either. That's a lot of resources we can pick up. Let's, um... Make them go someplace better. There we go. Now they can pick all that up. That is 30 planks. Yeah. Okay. And let's quick get rid of all of these levees. So that they don't try to build those. We would not want a levee there for any reason at all. Alright. So power. We need to fix the power situation. We do have the new vertical shafts. That would mean that if we could set up power banks along this back wall and like a wind farm, then we could shuffle power down and across to here. That also means that we could conceivably move our bad water pumping station and stuff over there as well, but this kind of is a good spot for it. We've got just enough power. We got about 350. I don't remember what the centrifuge takes. Oh, we need, we need catalyst. We can't do dynamite without catalyst. Oops, forgot about that. Um, okay, we do still have nine jobs open. We have nine baby beavers. I might go ahead and open that next house up. Yeah, it's gonna flood us with another six beavers. But we kind of could use them. I think that some of those jobs, yeah, the hauling post and the builder's hut. Um, because we've got, per suggestion, the hauling post down low. So let's go ahead and unpause that. They started working on the catalyst, the pumper's going. How are we doing explosives? We have 70. We probably need to restart that as well. Alright, now that we've micromanaged a little, let's see if we can think about a power situation here. I don't really want to move our whole entire industrial area up to here 
because we get a lot of power out of these and we could add a couple more wheels into there. Dams. We could change that to platforms. I don't know. I don't want to do that though. That helps hold water that away. Um, okay. Let's see here. We really need to. Which is I load to do this, but we don't really need the wood right at the moment. So let's go ahead and do what we can here. I'm going to put a higher priority on that one so that we can get a sluice in there. And I know I'm jumping all over the place today. I was sitting here thinking before I started, okay, what's my plan for today? I'm looking at what we've done last time. And I decided to wait and see if anyone had any smart suggestions for me in the comments of the last episode on what I should do for the aqueduct and the bad water system and then Mr. Bud kind of did a come to Jesus and said you know that we did accomplish quite a bit we got the bad water kind of taken care of we did set up the new wood farm and so we did accomplish a bit last time so I shouldn't be so oh no what you know what we're gonna need two because of the sluice gate needing to have its little extra half a block for the sluicy part um but yeah so i'm kind of like trying to be a bit calmer this time but as i was saying i was trying to think of what i wanted to do and i'm like i really don't know every time i come into to the game with plan i'm gonna do this today something happens and I end up like completely and utterly blown so do we have we do have the gravity battery already unlocked we have a thousand K we don't have any paper for the large windmills though so maybe we need to set that up first get paper going another thing to add to this poor tiny district um, what does paper need Oh, really not that much um let's see here if I put him this way then we are blocked we are done with power if we put him this way we'd still be able to connect another thing with power all right I really want to do the the power district with the large windmills not the small but we do need to get up here so I think let's see here what's gonna be the shortest route if I go up here I can use ladders which I think we'll probably do bonk, bonk, bonk. and honestly let's make them straight ladders so that it's just a straight stretch up. Which means we need to come over to here. And then we can come straight back from there. Okay. And straight across here because everyone knows a straight path is the best path especially for beavers and then we'll do another set of ladders here we're gonna have the jug and then that gets us up to here now what's our plan up here I'm thinking just a very large wind farm with a bunch of batteries back here, which means we're gonna need to get a lot of this wood cleared. So first up, let's get a couple of lumberjack flags in here. 
We will also put in a large pile, set that for logs. Okay, and then I think we'll just do a few. Yeah, we'll stick with the ladder theme. Am I going the right way? Is that the right way? There we go. Those going up there. Let's get a path in here. Let's get a path in here. Then let's mark all of this that can be cut to be cut. Shall not waste what we came for logs. Anything that's still left, once they're done with that, we will just come in and destroy. Let's get our path linked up. Sweet. That is quite far away. If we look at the path here, we're in the red quite drastically, but that it'll help a little once we get all these ladders in. All right, how are our little beavers coming over here? Well, we can do this. And then that means that we'll have a whole bunch of water now sitting down in there. Why does that feel... Oh, because we did hit the bottom of the world. Gosh darn it. I knew that there was... Okay, let's... Um, quick, 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 click money. Um, do this. So that went down one tile. We are wasting so much. Oh my god. I don't want those. I just want this. Yes. Oh, man. That was such a waste of catalyst. Oy vey. No, I'm not Jewish. Sorry. That's just something that we say a lot in my family. Um. Alright. So let's go back to just regular dynamite. That'll mean less of the hauling because it only needs one explosive then. Um, we could theoretically come in here and take some of that out too. Um, but we do have a mine down here that we could conceivably turn into something. I think we might... Doing the mines is just so expensive. 250 logs, 350 gears and 200 treated planks that's gonna have to wait until we've got a little bit more power production going oh my god come on injured beavers medium tank oh oh my gosh i forgot to turn everything back on oh. All right, you can go. Oh my gosh. That was just not great. Oh wow. Supply demand is not doing well here. <clears throat> um, let's see here. One there, one there. Not great. Not great at all. I should have realized that when I realized that these were only two. And I said, I'm dynamiting down three. Oh. Well, can't do anything about it now. Um, alrighty then. Oh, this is in. Bonk. And then if we come in here. Not a contamination barrier. A sluice is what we need. And I dynamited that too deep. <sighs> Shall we put in a levy? <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. 
So because they haven't been able to get these because we ran out of gears, um, they're filling up these water tanks over here, which is fine. That's all right. Um, I would kind of like them to fill up these ones up here, though. All right, so let's let's take a look here. Have they? Oh, I didn't reprioritize that because I'd like to get this done before the next dry period or bad tide, so that we have all of this in here for water. Oh, we can just barely get that. Let's do it. Let's do it, Pruitt. Okay. That'll make that a little bit bigger. Um, okay, so power-wise, if we look at what we've got going on here, if we bring... power down like over here somewhere maybe we bring it down in here maybe we kind of like reshape this a little and bring it down in here we'd be able to bring it across if we've got a couple more buildings all like linked in around the corner here that would work really well if we like brought it down right here so where does that line up If we're looking at power coming right along here, and we might want to just come through and clean up some of this to make it easier. All right, and then that's up in here, back to there. So our like main power line would come down along through there. Maybe we move some of like the smelting because we could start pulling from this metal reservoir and we pull some of the smelting up here. Then if we've got like windmills and uh, power banks running along there, they could be in here. That would be a good way to go as well. If that's the case, then I probably want a path to come along here from the ladder area, which means this would be in a not good spot. So if we do that, then we bring that straight along in here. Okay, and then we kind of create a another district that would run off the battery and wind power up here. I was kind of thinking it would be nice to, whenever we get our aqueduct thing going on here, to run it this way as well. And then we have the possibility to green all of this if we ran water along all of there. We could theoretically put in bad water caps on these ones. And if we ran a reservoir straight along here into here, then we would be able to green all of this as well. And we'd probably have to stop at that point because we'd have our wind and battery power in up here. So, all right, how are we doing here, beavers? Oops, wrong button. Let's shut the water off for a second. Oh. They are going to town. They're getting there. I'd like to get that in, though. Um, I think... Are they going to be able to reach this one? Is the only thing. Maybe? It's kind of on that diagonal. Oh, 
Oh, we don't have any treated plank storage. No wonder he keeps stopping. Um. Okay. Alrighty, and then we probably need a storage for paper. I don't think it needs to be super huge though, so maybe if we do a couple of those and we just mark those for paper. Where's paper? Paper! Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna say the dynamite over here is the new moment of the day. I should make a TikTok or something like that. Noob, Timberborn, Noob, oh my gosh. Timberborn, Noob, moment of the day with the dynamite. That would be kind of hilarious. Um, okay, how are we doing up here? We're still okay with all of this. As long as we keep it topped off, then these guys maybe don't do as much there. This guy needs to stay on. I need to just remove that those permissions. Otherwise, we're going to keep running out of water in there. Uh-oh, somebody got hurt. Explosives factory or the centrifuge got him. Uh, dynamite factory really needs to kick it up. We only have five dynamite left. Oof. That's not cool. What's this? Oh, let's pick this up, people. 33 explosives? Like, what are we thinking here? Alright. These guys are doing the best they can to fill all of the water tanks, but we still don't have enough water. That's not good. Let's open a couple more of those up. Why is that not? That one was the only one not set, it seems like. You know what? Because they are having to run all the way over here with water. That's why it's taking so long. So maybe I need to prioritize the... Did they, they got all that picked up? Is all of the dynamite in here? Yes. Boom booms. Sweet. Look at that. Now, if I take these, we'll push that up a little so that that fills up. I guess it doesn't really matter. It would have filled up anyways. Sweet. Okay. That is a lot of water. Okay, next I need them to really work on these tanks, which they haven't been able to do because they're out of gears. But I'm going to put them a higher priority so that as gears become available, they deal with that. Um, treated planks aren't really as much of an issue. That can't be reached. I'm going to destroy it. Um, as they were, I'm going to leave that little stairwell in there just in case we need to get down in there for any reason again. All right. We'll let these guys pump. We'll let those guys pump. We still have six jobs that haven't been filled. We're looking good on planks. Gears still nothing because they're all going to the tanks which I think all have yeah they all have their planks in them they're just waiting on gears we only have one gear shop one gear workshop so that's a little bit stressful we're on day 11 so we have the possibility of a warning at any time and, oh, we just got guys sitting on their butts Eve, over here because there's nothing to do. There's no trees over here. So go find something else to do, please. We'll let this all grow up. You too. 
we'll let all of that grow up and uh, let's see did we how are we doing log wise not super bad not super good is this all marked for cutting somebody could go there if they really wanted to and work on cutting those these guys these guys let's see here our log storage is not full by any stretch of the imagination it just takes so long to hoof it around that's part of the problem okay so i don't think we're gonna get working on the power situation in this episode um but we have gotten our water security a little bit more in place um they'll eventually get to these water wheels and pump that up so that we can cover our power needs i honestly think we probably don't need quite that many plinkers open right now um, because we were keeping up and restocking over here so i'm gonna just put that down to three of them running right now they're working on the paper which not is not exceedingly oh hey look at this they're already working on the ladders here um, I would kind of like to get this stuff done first though so let's bump the priority on that they can reach it all right it's too far from district Oy. now is it okay yes I love, love, love the fact that you can put paths under dynamite and still get them to lay it all. That is like the best thing ever. All right, we are going to have to prioritize these trees to get destroyed here. Is that one? Oh, yeah, that one too. Um, so that we can start this little thing and then we'll be able to see how, how much that's taken up. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. Then we can get the last of that dynamite laid in there. Um, let's, 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 let's. Priorities. These two things. All right. I think we're looking a little bit better. I feel a little bit less stressed about where we're going now that I'm not trying to think about the aqueduct. So I'm just going to put that out of my mind for a little bit. And we're going to figure out some of this other stuff. Um, power, water. Um, we don't have to worry about food ever because I'm like a food hoarder in the game and in real life. <laughs> um, so it's, it's one of those things that any game I play, I'm always worried about food. Because I just worry about that in real life. Um, it's one thing that I have always, always done. Um, but anyways, I think we are going to leave it there. I kind of was waiting for the next period to come through, but we're already at 53 minutes in this recording. And I like to try and keep them somewhere between 40, 45 and 50 minutes. Um, there we go. We're getting another drought. So that will be all right. That will be all right. I think we'll try see if we can get these beavers to take this stuff out um oh once again i'm wasting dynamite right oh let me change this quick i just laid it all oh no um wrong button no i don't want to do the warehouses oh man Oh, wait. I did do it right. <laughs> Second noob moment of the day. Gosh darn it. I am, I am just like, hmm. All right. I'm going to leave you for today <laughs> on that note. Um, but we have done quite a bit. We got our water fixed up. 
they're starting to put in the dynamo over here so that we get a little bit more reservoir action going on over here we have laid in the foundation for the start of a power system up here and a new um, industrial industrial district the more painful industrial building district um, we completed that sluice gate that saves us from the bad water and the new tree farm has been completely laid so we'll start off with this area next time we're still looking short on water but it's coming it's coming we're looking a lot better all right so i will see you in the next one i hope you have a great weekend bye